So you're gonna have this eyeball yeah, yeah, yeah. staring at that sun the whole the time, time, right? Yep. Um, which is kind of cool to think about, yeah, like yeah, a planet yeah. that looks like a staring eyeball. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone's excited about this because this is a paper on the Trappist. Ah, oh, Trappist One. Trappist One. Have you heard about this? Uh, so Trappist has been, again because I do the UAP stuff. Yeah, a lot of people are. Trappist like, One. That's Everybody where the, loves. That's where the aliens that's are. That's where the aliens are. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's where the aliens are, right? <laughs> Trappist One is um is a great little micro lab for solar system research. Okay? okay. The reason for it is um it's it's got a bunch of rocky planets. Mm -hmm. that are all transiting. This solar system is extremely small. It's like conde it's it's condensed. It's yeah. condensed. The star itself is an M dwarf. All of these planets are, because they're so close to the, to their sun, Yes. right? Um, they're within the, the, within the orbit of Mercury, Yes. right? They do this thing called tidal locking, which is something that the Mercury does to yeah, the sun yeah, yeah, and something yeah. that the moon does to the Earth. Yes. Whenever we look at the moon, we see the same face of the moon. Right. And that's because as it rotates, mm -hmm. it's also rotating yes. itself. Yes. Right? And the rate of rotation Matches. is matching the rate at which it rotates the earth. Yeah, yeah. Right? The earth doesn't do that, right? right the right. earth spins once every 24 hours. Yeah. yeah. Once a day, yeah. and then it takes 365 days to go all the way around. That's right. why we have 365 days. A day on the moon is also oh, a year on, on the, the moon, moon. if yeah. the earth is like kind of its center you know what i mean I, I know a day mean. on mercury is also a year yeah, on mercury. mercury yeah yeah right yeah all of these planets because they're so close to the sun they also lock. have this tidal locking right which means they also always face their sun the, the the point is there's one side of the rock is always in the sun and, and the other side, side is always, always in the dark that's the idea yeah so like you know um, that actually causes some problems for like, cause the earth has this dynamic climate. A lot of it is because we've got all parts of the, the, the earth getting some sunlight mm -hmm. right now. Imagine like you've got, you've got something like this. What kind of world would that be? Right. Um, and I was reading about this. It's really cool. They call it the staring eyeball. Okay. Okay. So what's happening is you've got one part of the, the, the planet looking at the sun, right? Yes. If this thing is really cold, yeah, yeah. then, okay, fine. The dark side is just going to be frozen. Yeah, yeah. The part that's looking at the sun, there's going to be a central part yeah. that is sort of hot yeah, yeah, yeah. and like maybe has liquid water if yeah. it has water. Yeah. And then as you go towards the, the outer parts, you're yeah. going to have this, these, this middle region where it's like freezing yeah, yeah, yeah. where the central part that is, that is where the sun is always overhead all the time. Yes. That's going to be the part that's going to be where, where you there's going to be this temperate zone, right? Yep. Where we would want to live if we ever went there. Yep. It's